Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I've started a brand new series in a brand new format. And this time, instead of just showing you features on a tool, I'm actually going to show you that feature in use. So in this episode, we're going to look at using a Wireshark IPv4 display subnet filter. Enjoy. So here's a scenario. We've got uh, me over here. I'm trying to capture some stuff. And basically, we've got all these hosts, servers, whatever you want to call them. And they've all got different IP addresses, but they're all on the same subnet. That's kind of key here. So we'd like to capture packets from various IPs from, obviously, my machine. So how do we do that? Let's take a look. Of course, one solution is just to combine multiple IVv4 addresses just like this, ip.addr is equal to this, or this, or that. Obviously, you can do this through the statistics menu. You can obviously type this in, whatever makes more sense. And a better solution is to use an IPv4 subnet filter, which means you need to know a little bit about subnetting, right? Don't just make this stuff up because I said so. Understand what it means, and it'll help you out. So in this case, if I want everything from the 10.44.10 subnet, it would be ip.addr equal equal 10.44. 10.0 slash 24, so it's a 24-bit mask. If you wanted the lower end, you you know you can do 25. It could go either way. So you have to understand your subnetting to make this work. And yet here's an example that you can use for reference. We've got a couple of devices on this 192.168.1.0 subnet that we want to see. And the goal here is to capture to any IP on that subnet without having to resort to typing in every single IP in a filter. And that's how you do it. So it's IP.ADDR, two equal signs, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And as you can see here in my display filter, it gives you all of those IPs that came back in that range or the ones I'm attempting to talk to in that range. So it works. So give it a try. It'll help you out. Enjoy.